anyway, yeah, we're trying to get shit done over here, and we're trying to do it right, and uh, we're working on our 62 fucking Volkswagen. Chop, chop, man, come on. Mister, I was here before everybody else, and, you know, I should have my car done six years ago because I was last in fucking line guy. Yeah, that's the car we're working on right now, and, and we're trying to get it done so we can get it painted and out of my fucking shop. Chop, chop, man, come on. Welcome to DIY. Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie, the body shop girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. turn around on this thing and this isn't just this car it's every fucking car people think that this is a in and out wham bam thank you ma'am situation scuff it down earl shops make a fucking paint and body shop shit it's not i'm working on the fucking hood over here i'm working on the hood and i was really excited because we had it soda blasted uh no we didn't have that soda blasted weekly loser fuck off guy stripped it to bare metal and all this time that the car's been here and I, I've been working on the car, I, I'm, I'm thinking, all right, all I got to do is DA this bitch down and we're done with it. But no, that's not the fucking situation. Because the situation is, it looks like the car has been in a fucking hail damage situation of a storm that says, look at me, bitch, I'm full of fucking dance. So what this DIY auto school lesson is about today is how do we find our dance on an old classic hood or possibly a new hood that has been stripped down to bare metal and all this time we thought there weren't no dents in it and we got to get these dents fixed. How are we going to do that, my friend Pete? How are we going to do that and find them properly and do it right? Since we got uh, Mr. 903 here with us and he's a new guy in town, we're going to have him come over here and learn a lesson with us as well. If Darren could come over here, hello. All right, what's up? What are you working on, dude? I'm working on the... I can't see you. Look, nobody can see you in the camera. There you go. I'm working on the F-150 truck bed. Okay. How's that looking? It's coming along, dude. Well, then maybe we ought to go look at it and see what you've done to it. Okay. Okay, what's going on here, dude? Well, we stripped it down. So okay, we... let's start at the beginning. Uh, we went to the junkyard all the way in Austin, Texas, and picked this bitch up. Am I right? That was yeah. an all-day fucking trip. All there. day trip. There you go. And then we're stuck here by ourselves. We had to flip this thing over inside and out to get it on the stand that it's on. Now where are we at? Well, we Mr. stripped Bob it down. Guy. We stripped it down. We took the lights out. We took okay, the okay. bed. We took the gate off. We took the molding off. Okay. We took the stickers off. Hold on, stickers. Yeah, there was. This had stickers. Yeah, these four by four stickers okay. right here. Now, how did you get those off, dude? What did you do to get those off? Well, I used this razor blade. Right. And I just. Now, hold on a minute, because I just saw your hand in front of that fucking razor blade. No, dude, no, not... no, my hand wasn't in front when okay, I was doing it. Do you got any wise advice when using a scraper blade on a, a vehicle? What, what would be your advice to use it the proper way? Uh, don't put your hand in front, because that bitch will slip, and you'll fucking That's right. cut your hand. Like when I walked around the corner, and I saw your, your guitar hand there, yeah, you uh, saw in me front of the blade, and then you would have been whining and crying all day because you couldn't play guitar? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, exactly, dude. Yeah. Okay, so we got the stickers off. Now we're in the process of block sanding this down. Have you found any dents on it? As you're looking at the light, like I tried to teach you how to do. Have you been looking at it as you're working on it? I haven't been looking at it. I haven't spotted any yet, okay. but I haven't really looked too closely at it. Did you get our rubber stoppers off? We don't want to paint those yellow. Yeah, I got one off. I found out it wasn't a screw. It was just a clip that you just pop off. Okay, right. good idea. See, I was testing you. I want to see if you can figure that out. Yeah. You figured it out? Yeah. All right, over here, bud. You might as well come on over and learn this fucking lesson along with everybody else. So what are we doing? What are we talking about over here? Okay, what we're talking about is you worked on this hood, am I right? You yeah. sanded the bottom of it. You got it ready for primer. Yeah. But this was stripped down to bare metal. Now, when we brought this over here, remember I told you I said at least the hood doesn't have no dents on it. Yeah. What do we got here, dude? That's a black spot. Am I right? Yeah. I mean, Look at all the little spots. It feels just look at the spots. You don't even have to feel them. Look at them. Yeah, I see them. How many are there? One, two, three, there's one, two, four. 
There's a whole shitload of them. What this situation is, is when you have a piece of metal such as this, which is flat, and you think it's straight, it's not. I'm going to show you how to find those dents and do it the easy way, and this is it right here. Okay. This is called a DA sander, all right? Do you know what DA stands for? No. Dual action. Dual action. All right, because what you look at, if you come over here, I'm going to show you. Uh, see how that inner piece turns? Oh, I see. All right, and then this turns at the same time. So it's a vibrating sander, but it's continuously spinning. I see. I see the movement. You understand? Movement. Yeah. So, do you see there? Look at it. Yeah, I see the movement on it. All I right. see that dual action. There you go. So, what you want to do to find those dents, now you can do it two ways. You can actually go ahead and spray a light coat of guide coat on there. If you can grab that can over there, we're not going to do it. I'm just going to show it to them. Uh, cheap, inexpensive paint that you can purchase where? Walmart. Anywhere. CVS, right. anywhere. 99 cents. You can spray a light coat of that on here and then DA it down. Or, if you've done what we did over here, strip it down to bare metal by hand. Do you see the discoloration here? Do you see the difference between this and this? Do you see that? Yeah, I see. It's like a, you see the brown? That's right. Brown it's not really brown, but it's a darker gray instead of shiny silver. Okay. That means that we stripped this down by hand and we left the uh, factory electric plated coating on the metal. That's the only way to strip metal when you're doing these old cars. Now, the way to find those dents, and I'm sure everybody figured it out, but I'm going to go ahead and show you anyway, is that's a good idea. Put your safety glass on first. Is what we want to do is you take your DA sander and you don't push real hard because look what I'm doing when I'm pushing on that. You're pushing it down. I'm pushing it down and it's going to, uh, it's going to get hot and it's going to warp the metal and fuck everything up. All you want to do, feel how heavy that is. That's pretty heavy, dude. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. The weight of the machine is going to do the sanding for you. Now, you're going to want to push just a little bit, but not a lot. And I want you to pay real close attention. As I sand it, you're going to start seeing these spots appear. See that right there? Yeah, that's that a damn. That wasn't there. Looky here, bud. You can't see anything in this area, am I right? Watch. <laughs> right in this area. Now I want you to take the sander and I want you to finish this hood out. Now I'm going to show you how to use the DA sander. When you push forward, okay, it's going to make it come back. When you push down, it's going to make it go forward. When you go this way, it's going to go that way. It's the opposite of any way you put Just like a buffer that you would buff on the floor with. Alright, you've never used one of those before, be careful and don't push. Flat on the fucking surface, don't push down. Back and forth, there you go. Nice and slow, nice and slow, easy. Easy does it, slow down. Right, come on back, over here, there you go. Now go back that way, back and forth. So what we just found is we found some dents. And as we scan the hood, you can see now clearly and visibly where all your dents are going to be. Do you see what I'm saying? Huh? Look at there. There's a yeah. little dent. Look, look at that. Yeah, you couldn't see anything. That might not be ones. one. But look, here's one right here. Feel, just take the tip of your finger real lightly. Oh, yeah. Feel see that? that? Yeah. Now look over here. Look at those two right there. Do you see? Oh, yeah. Now you understand what we're looking at here. When you got a piece of metal such as our hood, all right, and you can't find the dents, or you think you got all your dents out, what are we going to do? DA sand it, make sure. You're going to DA sand it before you do any type of body work at all on it to find all the imperfections that is possible. Yeah. Now, we got a situation here, dude. What's the situation? I'm pretty pissed off. I thought the fucking hood was dent free, Darren. Yeah. 903. Yeah. I'm pissed. We were on a fucking schedule on this bitch over here. This was a schedule to say we need to get this bitch painted. 
Yeah, we thought we were going to throw the hood on. Yeah, Stop exactly. Fucking... Now we're fucked. Yeah. It's going to take a day or two to do all the body work on this. But we're not done there, Darren. Because the real situation is now that we found our dent, we're talking about warpage. You know what that means? Warpage. Warpage. Warp. That means if you get yeah. the hood too hot, it's going to start warping on us, then we're really fucked. Yeah. Then we're going to have to buy a new one. We're going to have to go find a junkyard hood and then fix that. Yeah. So you got to be real careful when you're doing that because that DA sander moving as fast as it does will heat up the surface and warp it. And then we'd really be screwed. Then we're screwed. Then you and me will have to buy a new hood for this guy that we're trying to get out of our fucking shop. So the next thing we want to do before we do any body work, we want to take our little, what? Grinder. Yeah, it's a two inch roller lock grinder. Do you see there? They call it a roller lock because the pad locks onto the grinder. This is a variable speed grinder. Lock. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Yeah. So when using a tool like this, all right, being a sander, you want to learn how to use the trigger as a variable speed grinder. Yeah, you want to know all how right? to use a variable speed grinder. Exactly. We don't want to sit there and go, and then slide down into it. No. That's going to warp our metal, it's going to get hot, and it's going to make the dent bigger. What we do want to do is set it on the metal like this. See how I did that? I pushed the trigger in about approximately one quarter and I barely touched it. Look. Okay, so now we know what that dent is. See, then we come over here. And I'm using the edge. I'm not holding it straight down. Do you see what I'm saying? Hang on a minute. You're going to do those ones, bud. Okay. I'm feeling my hand where I'm seeing the dark spots. And what this is doing, this is, this is marking our dents to show us where they're at. Even though some of them are very, very minor and the primer would probably fill them in. And then what I'm doing, I'm taking my hand and rubbing it. Here's one right here, look. Okay, and I'm going back and forth very lightly with my whole hand. Do you see how I'm using my whole hand on that? Yeah. I'm not going like this. I'm not going like that. I'm not going like this. I'm using my whole hand, dude. And I'm rubbing down nice and even and going across. Here's another one right here, dude. Okay. And it's very important to try to get all the dents that you can. Now, we had a few other problems, and these aren't dents. These are just little rust spots, but this video isn't about that. So I want you to take this grinder. Don't fuck the hood up, 903. That ain't how I was doing. But I didn't put it flat. That ain't right, dude. Hold it with two hands. Hold the grinder with two hands, bud. Hold the head up here with one hand. There you go. Watch me do it again, but watch. Okay, because there's a lot of guys out there like you that are trying to learn how to do this. Yeah. All right, and we don't want to fuck the hood up. Yeah. Okay. Watch how I do it. See how I'm holding my hand here? It's nice and loose and free. Yeah, I just went back and forth. Okay. I didn't use it straight on because look what happens when you use it straight on. I didn't bump it on there. Just nice. Bring it out a little more. You want to make a nice big circle? Alright, that's good dude. Don't get it too hot. Alright, so you see, even the beginner can learn how to do this when necessary. It takes time, it takes nutrient, it takes watching, listening, and learning. And, and learning from mistakes like, let's say, 903 over here, and watching him fuck up, so you don't have to. On my fucking dollar. How are we looking? Yeah, that's right, Darren. Your hand's going to get a little dirty, bud. No, I'm not chipping like that. See, that one's good. I like that one. This one here, that's kind of a big dent. You want to make it just a little bigger. Now, when you do this, can I talk a second? Yeah. When you find your dents, you want to go approximately three times the size of the dent, dude. Oh, okay. Okay? Okay. Go ahead, bud. Whoa. Spot. Okay, that's a spot. We're not even, that's not about that. Okay. So did, did you, you figure it out? out there? But we're not doing that right now, dude. We want to fix our dance first. Yeah. Okay, so did you learn anything here? Yeah. What? I learned how to use the grinder. Rollo lock disc grinder, yeah, two like inch. Two inch grinder. And what else? And I learned how to use the DA sander. On bare metal. On bare metal. That's to totally do. different. You're using DA sanders on different stuff is different applications. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, so I've, what watched, you, I've watched you do it on different stuff. I know. Okay. It's different. All right. So it takes practice is what you learn to make it perfect. Yeah, definitely. All right. I make it look easy. That's what a lot of people say. But it's really easy if you put your mind to it and do it. Thank you very much. Go over there. Get the bed ready. We'll be working together in a minute. Okay. So that's how you find your dance when it comes to um, restoring your old classic car or possibly maybe your hail damage to it. Now, if you're working on a car that's already got paint on it, you want to do the same thing. Just take your DA sander with 180 grit instead of 80 grit and go over it very quickly and then you're going to see all the darker spots will be your dance. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, telling you that you can do it and, and, and make it look fucking right. We got to go.